Kerbal Space Program 2 has had its first update, and we are currently looking over what they say they've changed. So let's just read over before we get into the weekly challenge. So they optimized the fuel flow calculations to cut processing by up to three times and reduce garbage by half. That's significant. Improved joint strength for engine plate floating stack attach nodes. Fixed the rapier engine mode changing issues. I have not experienced any issues with the rapier engine other than the crack and drive, which if we look down to more, Fix for engine thrust being deflected at too high of a value when a part obstructs an engine's exhaust. The Kraken drive bug. The Kraken drive is dead. And we're gonna try. We're gonna try. Fixed an issue that prevented loading of a saved game within a, an existing campaign, caused workspaces to not load properly, and prevented saving the game. Fixed an issue that could cause some environment objects to spawn on top of the active vessel they fixed physics impulse occurring when an engine runs out of fuel interesting we can check the here's the here are the full patch notes i'm not going to read through all of it but i do want to show it on screen interesting well we'll play and we'll see if we run into any of the same bugs that we've run into in the past this one we definitely experienced the goal is going to be to achieve the weekly challenge. Our goal is to get an SSTO rover to Minmus and back after driving all the way around Minmus once, taking off and getting back to Kerbin. So it's gonna be very interesting to find out whether we can achieve this. But first things first, we're gonna test to see if the Kraken drive is truly dead. Three, two, one. the kraken drive is officially dead also this looks slightly different but i will say we did everything we wanted to do with the with the kraken drive before it died oh interesting this looks completely different so here are the goals the primary goal is land on minmus stretch goal land on minmus land on mun and back to kerbin jeb level land on minmus deploy rover drive all the way around reboard spacecraft fly back to kerbin vow level all of the jeb goals but in a single craft now that we have that cleared up and out of the way and explained i'm gonna start thinking about design so and this may be just a warning this may be a multi-day endeavor it's gonna be very difficult and we're the chan chances are we're just gonna run out of Delta V. Put it on the launch pad and uh, watch it explode. Something's happening. Is that front wheel floating? Yeah, those front wheels are floating off the ground. Um, I didn't intend for that to occur. And the wheel fell off. We forgot to strut with the wing fell off. <laughs> wow, that explosion was so much smoother than past explosions. That explosion was so smooth. Typically, it like pauses the game for five seconds. We forgot to strut the wings. Uh, uh. <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, those struts just disappeared. Okay, okay. Because if we have to land this thing on Minmus, this is going to be difficult. Now, I don't understand why the struts on the right wing just broke off. The Mark 1 is going to be better. And then the Mark 2 may actually be capable without everything falling apart. And it got destroyed. So the linkage between one of the wings keeps failing. Oh, yeah. One of the wheels broke off, too. Aha! It didn't explode immediately. Um, and we're just rotating randomly. Very interesting. We're still going to launch it. And we have liftoff. All right, we're going to space. First try. I just want to see how stable this thing is, and I want to see how high we can get. Yeah, we're going to run out of oxygen. So we need these fuel tanks to be the methyl ox instead of... I thought we were going to run out of fuel well before we ran out of oxygen. We could probably use another two rapier engines. So we made it to 48,000. And we still had half of our... Over half of our fuel remaining. The optimizations they made, whatever they changed, clearly had an effect on performance. A noticeable effect. And don't get me wrong, I realize that this challenge is exceptionally difficult. I don't know if we're going to even be able to get anything remotely close to achieving what we're trying to achieve. Yeah, I think that's a part of it. Aerodynamics is definitely a part of it. I think we're going to need a tank just of methane to balance it out. We should be good now. We should be good. Look at the Delta V counter just freaking out. It's like jumping from 18 to 22, 29. We still have 1,000 Delta V. We're in Minmus's sphere of influence now. We touched Minmus's sphere of influence and are making it back to Kerbin now. But we're gonna fly right by it. This is what our this is what our um orbit looks like right now. 
So we touched Min Miss's sphere of influence and we got back to Kerbin. But yeah, that was a good uh that was a good attempt. Is this game worth adding to Steam Library now or is this project dead in the Oh, it's absolutely not dead in the water. I recommend doing your own research in regards to the state of the game. There are many videos that clearly outline all of the bugs and issues and performance issues with the game. But if you're asking me personally, I have, how many hours do I have in the game? I have 86 hours in game and I have absolutely gotten my $50 worth. In terms of making a rover, we need rover wheels, unfortunately. These wheels have engines in them and they turn based on electric charge. But we need to use rover wheels specifically and not landing gear because rover wheels have engines that can rely on solar power to function. All right, now they're jumping around a little bit, bugging out. Bugging out, jumping around a little bit. Hover they're hovering above the ground. It's, it's kind of the problem we face, what we're trying to solve, right? I mean, we made it, but I will be keeping this design in mind, but this design as it stands right now is not going to complete the requirements. We'll see how it goes, but I'm going to leave it here. Thanks for hanging out.